Talk to her, Porter. Hi. Just found. Oh, another mega block. Grayson, what did you have at school today? A party. A party? What kind of party? We get to go to four stations. Four stations? Why? Why did you have a party today? Because today was my special day. Today was. It was the last day. It was the last day of school before winter break. Yes. So now Grayson is on winter break because he had his last day of school. Porter had his last day last week. And today was Grayson's last day. And how many days until Christmas? Five. Five more days till Christmas. It's Five. December 20th. Four. Three. So I had Grayson wear his Two. Christmas shirt One. and he wore light up necklace that looked like Christmas lights and he wore a Santa hat this morning and he got gifts for his bus driver and his teacher right yeah yep and I'm organizing. and he said he had so much fun he made like a Rudolph out of a candy cane and he made a Santa with cotton balls for his beard and he got lots of yummy snacks Huh, he got lots of cool stuff. What and now he's this, done with school. What's this brown thing? I don't know. And now we're cleaning the basement. Hi, Dad! And then... What do you have to say? What are you going to say? Yeah, you got a big belly. So, like I was talking about earlier, Grayson had his last day of school. He's now on winter break. Porter's already been on winter break. <laughs> Five days till Christmas, so things are ramping up, I guess. It has been a crazy busy week for me, and it's only Wednesday, and it's just staying busy up until the new year, I guess. Gosh, I just feel like I'm always running around like crazy these past couple days. Today, I went and got my nails done. Um, I think I've mentioned it in the past couple vlogs, but we are... Um, going to Miami two days after Christmas. We're flying out there and staying there for a week. My parents um, rented out a Airbnb and we're gonna stay at a house with all of my siblings and my parents. And we're gonna have five babies, five years old and under. So it's gonna be chaos. But anyway, my mom treated my sisters and I to get our nails and toes done. So I was trying to find something that was like in between pink and red to fit Christmas and a beach <laughs> vacation together. And it came out more pink, but I still like the color. So I got that done. I have been gifting gifts to like teachers and like I said, the bus driver and things like that. I had a meeting today that I had to do. Tomorrow I'm meeting a friend for lunch. And then Allison, my sister is coming over. Let me pick up the baby. Tomorrow um, and my sister Allison is coming over and we are gonna make Christmas cookies. The boys have been very stressed because it is five days to go to Christmas and we still have not made cookies for Santa eat to eat. But I keep reminding them that if we make cookies too early, they will be stale and Santa cannot eat them. But they don't understand that. So <laughs> my sister is coming over tomorrow and we're going to make cookies. I'm actually going to make a batch tonight with the boys. We always make my great grandma Burks. She's passed now, but she's made these awesome sugar cookies that we make every year. Anthony is not the biggest fan of them. In fact, I don't even think my sister Allison really cares for them. I think they are the best sugar cookies. They're really thick and just delicious. I think they're so good. And then usually we just make um, like homemade icing, which is literally just powdered sugar and water with food coloring. But Allison, I think, isn't the biggest fan of that. So I went and got some like legit icing from the store and we'll use that too to make like cool designs. But I've got cookie cutters, so we're gonna use those and make fun co Christmas cookies. Boys, what did we just make? Cookie dough. You make cookie dough? Mm -hmm. So I already scraped the bowl, but Porter's just having the last little bits of it. It's so good. This cookie dough is so yummy. And here's what we made. So I wrap it up and then we put it in the fridge. And then tomorrow when my sister comes over, we will 
Use our cookie cutters, cut them into shapes, obviously roll it out, and then bake them in the oven. Like I said, I got Yay! icing so we can ice the cookies and it will taste so good. And then hopefully they will last until, <clears throat> until Christmas Eve because that's when we have to put them out for Santa. So we're making them on Thursday and then we'll put them out on Sunday. So I think that's all right. So anyway, here's the cookie dough all done. I'm putting it in the fridge. Avery already went down for bed. She has been refusing to take her third nap, which is fine, but she hasn't adjusted the two naps that she takes throughout the day. So she takes short two naps and then there's a huge gap between her second nap and then bedtime. So then I have to put her to bed early and then sometimes she gets up early and anyway. I don't think I mentioned this, or maybe I did. Tomorrow, bright and early, we go and get Avery's second helmet. We already got fitted and took the pictures. And so tomorrow they will put it on her and we will start our journey with helmet number two. They are quoting us to only have to wear it four to six weeks. I am hopeful that that is true, but they might extend it if they see that she needs more work. I guess we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping we keep the same technician that we had with the first helmet because I really liked her and I really valued her opinion. We have like two of them that go around there and I'm just, I'm very familiar with the one. So we will see how it goes. Hopefully she adjusts to it okay. She had a little bit of an adjustment period with the first one. It has been 10 days since she's last worn a helmet. So hopefully she, we put it, the second one on and she just like adjusts to it no problem but i guess we'll find out our appointment is at eight in the morning so we are going bright and early and it of course is downtown so hopefully i don't have bad traffic getting down there but i was so hopeful that she wouldn't have a helmet for christmas and then miami but unfortunately that's just not the case so is what it is hopefully we will be finishing with it in february maybe mid-february so fingers crossed that it goes fast so yes that's what we have tomorrow and then like i said i'm meeting a friend for lunch and then we're making christmas cookies with my sister anthony had his last day of work today he actually only had a half day so he is done for work for the year his company is kind of like either you use it or you lose it by the end of the year and so he has so many days so he has to use it so he's off through the fourth because or through the third because we come back on the third and then he'll start back up on the fourth and the fourth funny enough is when both boys go back to school too so we've got basically like two weeks two weeks from tomorrow everything goes back to normal so two weeks of nothingness except we have lots of going on so yes we've been busy grayson I had a play date earlier this week and like i said i've had work stuff going on i'm hosting again <laughs> i feel like i'm always hosting but that's okay i'm hosting christmas eve and christmas with my family and anthony's parents are coming to visit on the 23rd and staying the night so i'm got a bunch of snacks and stuff so that we can host everyone we're gonna make christmas dinner for my siblings who don't have anywhere to go they're gonna come here so I've been running around getting that ready. I need to clean the house at some point. That'll probably be a Friday thing. We really don't have anything going on on Friday. I'm kind of debating on whether I should do something fun with the boys in the morning. I've debated like maybe taking them to go to the movie theater to go see the new Trolls movie or maybe taking them to a play place, but those cost money, so I don't know. Yeah, it'd be fun to go to a play place. So I'm debating it because Anthony would have off of work. So it'd be fun to like take the boys and then just have Anthony stay home with the baby. But I don't know. I don't know how I think about feel about it. So we'll see. Friday, we have nothing. Like I said, Anthony's parents come Saturday. Sunday's Christmas Eve and then Monday's Christmas. And then two days later, we fly out to Miami and stay there for a week. So it's going to be a mad chaos between like Christmas and then leaving to the airport. And of course, we leave on the 27th. Our flight is at like seven in the morning. So basically, I have to be packed and ready to go the 26th, the night of the 26th. So I'm gonna have like one day to like pack everything and get everything ready. I'm stressed. I'm just, I'm actually blocking it out, not thinking about it because it's so stressful. We actually leave one week from today. Yeah, it's just gonna be a lot. We've never taken three kids on an airplane before. The boys are old enough that they can just play on like their tablets or like 
just be self-sufficient on their own and be pretty good. It's Avery who is not entertained by like videos or anything and she's not gonna wanna sit still and it's gonna be a long flight, yeah. Grayson got this in his goodie bag um, leaving his school today and it's a maze. It's probably hard to see, but there's like a little marble ball and then you have to like make it through the maze and he is obsessed with it, but it gets him very anxious when he misses the slots, which is obviously the hardest part of it. But he loves it, loves that little maze that he got. So anyway, I'll probably make this into a two day vlog because I just started vlogging and it's like already bedtime. We need to go get ready for bed. I'll probably pick it back up tomorrow when we make cookies with my sister Allison. She's gonna bring over her daughter Ivy. Obviously the babies can't really do anything. I'm actually gonna have Anthony help like watch them while we focus on the boys. Um, so it's nice that he's off of work and he can help us. So that is our plan. So I will definitely pick it up and you can see part two of our sugar cookies and how they turn out. So I will see you then. We are waiting to get our second helmet. Just watched the care video. Fixing her helmet and then we're gonna get it, huh? Mm -hmm. Round two. And Avery likes the remote. All right, they just brought her second helmet. So here it is. What do you think? Do you see that baby? She doesn't seem to mind it. I think she's used to it. They said they're gonna give us 10 minutes. See if there's any redness, how she does with it, and then we'll go from there. Where's that baby, huh? Yeah. Helmet. Oh, that's your hand. <laughs> it looks the same, though. Yeah, it looks the same. She's a little antsy. Oh. Yeah. Yes. What are you making, Gray? I'm making a leaf. Ooh. I baked a leaf. Oh boy. Wait, I thought you made a star. Oh, look, a oh. leaf and a star. Oh, you made both. Mine always uh, broke. It's okay. Do you need to help gain it out once you make it? Yeah. Okay, you <laughs> make the shape and I'll get it out. Look, I made a long one. Oh, nice. Are you ready? Can you make all this into a ball and I'll help you? Make it flat again. Yep, make it into one big ball. Let's pull it in the flat. Roll the ball in the flat. Make sure you add the flat all over the ball. Look what I'm doing. Nice. Rub it around in the flat. Look what I'm doing. Good job. It's, it has yes. all the flat. Add it. Add it again. Add it again. Add it again. Once it's added it a little bit, then we'll come and use the roll. Alexa. Stop. Alexa, resume.